Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to the greatest show on earth. I am your host, Engine Drop and Tangender Ben Violet Ben Takatosh. And you've reached what to play next. Um, this is my empire. This is ESO. When I was like 12, my dad downloaded a beta test, and I am Manhattan. Um, so, not really. I was born in upstate New York, but I was born upper class. So, obviously, when I went on the internet, um, I wound up with upper class friends. I had upper class friends in my neighborhood and so on. Um, I've, I love the city. I've been up there to visit, you know, my friend in NYU and everything like that. So, um, absolutely adored it. But the short version was, um, Mr. Howard and team, there were like 13 of them. They were, um, letting us beta test it and taking our feedback. And I was big into design and it was so cool because I got to work on that. And he was like, we're trying to put you guys in the video game because we kind of, you know, like we can't pay you. Um, because we don't know if we can launch the next one. So we're going to put you guys in it and everything like that. And he's like, do you want to talk to your friends about it? Um, so I did. And they actually wound up launching and everything like that. So my dad, Akatosh, is obviously in all the games. I'm just in um, Daggerfall. I'm in a book quest. Um, so it's like a classier, way classier version of the last year ago you made is about politics. Um, and I had had a son and I ran off and I conquered the Empire, and I basically did everything that the main built like, the main character, his boss was going to be villainous, the guy who sent you out, and they were trying to figure out how to fix that. So they inserted this female character, and I was like, no, that's so cool, because that is so New York. You know what I mean? Where, like, you just are just an awful person, but then at the end of it, you're like, oh, God, they were, like, so much more powerful than their husband or whatever. And, you know, that's... I, I would never advocate against marriage, but it was such a cool story, you know what I mean? That she, she ran away and she was dealing arms with this guy, and it turned out it was because she could unite the kingdoms, and it was part of the Daggerfall Covenant, it was part of her father's house, you know? So it was just a cool story, and I love being a part of that. So anyways, this is my character. They were one of the first companies, they were very quiet for so long that almost nobody had heard of them, and then micro, Microsoft acquired them. I think they started to, like, branch out in franchising. Um, they were um, doing StarCraft or something like that, and then, you know, ESO blew up and all that. They wound up with a um, an online game, which is this one, and that got huge too. So they wound up being just plastered all over headlines. Um, it picked up a little bit with Skyrim because they adopted modding, and everybody was, like, hating on these people. And Bethesda and team were like, no, you know, come in here, like, work on the game, and they were totally cool with it, and they didn't sue them or anything. They didn't, you know threatened defamation or anything that the big companies did and they really were just like pretty much about that big um so they just loved them and they loved how open they were about that um so they really just started hitting headlines um and i saw it in the newspaper a couple years ago or excuse me online and i was like god i wonder you know so i went back and i got this like two years ago and i was like this is so beautiful they just absolutely took everything that they wanted with the lore and fleshed out it was always kind of adult um and i'm a chick I'm, like, not feminist, but, um, you know, obviously my education is so good that I have a hard time, like, um, men will always be better in fields, especially when they're starting, than females, because they just have less to worry about, and they don't worry about getting married and stuff like that. So they're just naturally better. So we're naturally, you know, we have to be more competitive and everything, but then you go down to where, you know, you're just born with, like, a good education, basically, because of your neighborhood, and it's very frustrating to me. So I was like a little bit down on how much they talk about chicks and, like, their affairs and stuff like that. So I didn't really get it. Wow, there's a lot going on in Northern Alistair today. I don't have any quests, so I gotta go pick one up, so that's what I was doing. I take, like, really long breaks, because, um, right now I'm working again, which is annoying. But, um, it is what it is. So, I have to, um, go out and get some more cash, basically. There is a dragon above me? We are gonna go explore this, friend. Of course we're gonna do this. So anyways, I love their cactuses. I actually went out and got a gaming computer specifically so that I could be like, just, you know, that much more involved. Um, get a little bit better resolution and have it processed a little bit. Cause I had it on lower poly, which I just didn't feel was doing it justice. So, well, let me find my dragon here. I want to see the dragon. So in Skyrim, obviously the whole thing was, um, was that power shouting? I'm so bad about this because I didn't play it. Um, I've played Morrowind. Obviously, I, you know, played Daggerfall and Arena. Whoa! Just almost went off the cliff there. Um, 
And then I, you know, I've seen it, but... And it's so funny, too, because, like, my brother taught his kids the Dovahkiin song. They have it, like, memorized. There's me, and I'm like, actually more involved and in running around with, like, no clue sometimes. Oh, I, I need to put my toolbar back on the bottom. I always forget how to do that. They, I wish, you know what I miss is when you had a game in a box, it had an instructional manual that you could put right by the keyboard. You know what I mean? And now your printers are wireless. I have like this printer and I can't make it work on anything. And I'm actually really good with computers. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Um, they have the coolest monsters. You don't really have to fight them. You can outrun them. That's always been their way. Um, you can interact um, kind of tertiary where like the peasants will talk if they have a line um, or the usually the MCs but you know every once in a while you'll hear a peasant talking and so on um, oh now the dragons blow okay hold on where is this guy oh is that just a boss fight that looks like it's just a boss fight let's check it out you and me, friend. We're gonna let's check. It's in the zone. Oh, okay, yeah. I don't have anything equipped. I'm out. I'm out, out running. This is so bad. Oh, running, 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 running. Holy cow. Okay, so can I just jump? Is he flying? He is. Oh no, that's just a bat. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. I was just like. So anyways, <laughs> oh no, oh, fall damage. Oh, okay, saved it. And I do too, in World of Warcraft, it scared the crap out of me how fast I would just like jump and just not take any, because you're so used to it from, you know, it had just evolved. You know how often I play something that is not an FPS. You know, obviously I go right into adventure gaming. That's what was fashionable. When I was a kid and I was first learning, you know, PC games, a console gaming was awesome. We had a Turbo Graphics. I miss it like crazy. <laughs> I want there to be Turbo Graphics in my life. Okay, so where am I? Where is me? There is me. There's a dragon. We'll just break right here. Not in the mood for you. But. So where's my inventory? I need to equip something. I have an iron sword of flame now. Yes, okay. Fine, you're wonderful. Glorious. Where are you? So, um, PvP. Awesome. Uh, you can do it. They actually had a um, Skyrim expansion pack that was big into, you know, the multiplayer events and that sort of thing. Um, I'm trying not to buy up. Like, so Greymore is next. But I'm trying not to buy up because I missed part of the story when I bought this um, because I, it dropped me right in where the dragons were and there was this glorious story about this red-headed elven queen <laughs> which I would have been so into so I so would have done that I, could you kindly be a quest like I just need one <laughs> what are you doing what are you oh, okay that's a character is the looking looking up for the side quest Okay, so I need to go, hold on, map this out. I need to go northeast. Just went around in a circle, fleeing from a dragon. This is so normal. But I missed all the, um, you know, like the mining and the herb gathering and everything like that, where you could have a proficiency. <clears throat> Cool, so what's this? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Alright, okay. Did not often visit Helkar, for there was little gold to be found in a kingdom of shepherds. Besides, they had little kindness. That, you know, we used to, like, and then I saw online that that was the white supremacist symbol, and I'm like, that's the sign language word for a hole. So I guess that's similar, but like. Then we had to stop flashing okays at each other, which was fine. It's like, we, I don't do that very often, but like the amount of stupid crap that's happening to us, kind of unbelievable. 
I just don't get why everything is like supremacist this. Or like then it goes around to the other way and it's racist that. I'm like, what is going on? So confused. I will just live in the video game world. Can I do that? Can we have this? It's all I ever wanted since I was a kid. Obviously. What's your step in the stitches? The stitches, friend. You'll want to find another place to rest your feet, stranger. These stitches are about to burst. It won't be much longer before the whole place unravels, as it were. There is a new Khajiit in charge, Kazda, and he enjoys throwing his weight around. Between this one and you, most in the stitches find Kazda's leadership lacking, but none will stand up to him. Though, this one heard rumors Tasnasi is back. No friend of Kazda's, this one can tell you. She's recruiting for a job, or so the rumors say. This one doubt shall have much luck convincing someone local to make an enemy of Kazda. But someone passing through. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and decline that, but apparently I can just. Oh, new, new. Bye. Get the water skin. You got the water skin. It's mine. Just steal your stuff, anyways, friend. So that's the stitches. We got dragons everywhere, dude. You can buy a house. The prowl. What's the cicatrice? Event merchandise. Sugar Bowl Suite, Hall of the Lunar, Set Destination. Alright, so I don't have any enemies nearby so I can fast travel. Which is handy. Like, um, having a horse is nice, and I can actually pop onto my horse, I bought it. Um, but Khajiit of Elsa built this awesome temple as a tribute to legendary hero Kunzari. Elsewhere's greatest champions may assume stewardship of the hall, but only most patient and cunning will discover all of its secrets. Um, they had a lore book out and everything. The cookbook, I don't know if I have it, because I just grabbed it the other day. Um, it was made by the Game of Thrones chick. So she goes out and she gathers up all of the, like, tchotchke and everything that goes with your stuff. And, um... She put together like this incredibly, um, I don't want to say Eastern Bloc, it was, it's like Russo, uh, that sort of Asian mix, you know, that just so different. Um, and that's apparently, you know, what this most resembled and the recipes are so cool. There's a recipe for, um, skooma in there, all sorts of stuff. And I just, I loved it so much that I went through and I, um, I don't think it's going to let me do this. Hold on. Oh, I'm filming. Maybe it will. There we go. Hall of Lunar Champion. Preview. Go to entrance. Okay, so you can purchase this and live here. You just hang out, get visitors. Um, I don't have that much cash. I just restarted as a new character. It's the first time I've ever done that. I mean, obviously there were the gold box days. But um, aside from that, that was the first time I've ever done that. Um, and just like restarted playing. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know how to leave. Joan Light Altar. Here's my map. Okay, here's me. I'm here. Okay, travel to Sugar Bowl Suite outside. So, then I travel. I travel outside. I don't want to purchase it, friend. I want to... Oh, I just aired out. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. And that's just some of the cool features. So you can, like, buy a home. You can work a job. I was a blacksmith last time. i got to find something new and cool. Maybe, like, brewery. I don't know. Leave a suggestion in the comments below. But we love you guys. We love that you come along for the ride. That we get to really just explore this incredible amount of... The storyline is consistent throughout. I um, mean, they have these emperors rising and falling. So if you're into epics, that's, that's like, literally all that Bethesda does. So this is such a cool experience, then. Um, we love having you guys um, down in the link below. There's Gamer Grind. We did partner with them. They're a co-op. Um, so, you know, have Gamer Grind coffee delivered to your door. Stay safe. Game on. Much love. Like and subscribe. Make this chick smile.